Divine Liturgy Greek, Thea Liturgia, Thea Liturgia, Bulgarian, Bozestvina Liturgia translate. Bozheshvina Liturgia, Georgian, Sagmertu Liturgia Russian, Bozestvena Liturgia tr. Bozestvena Liturgia, Polish, Boska Liturgia Swedigo, Czech, Boska Liturgy or Holy Liturgy is the Eucharistic service of the Byzantine Rite, the Rite, developed from the Antiochene Rite of Christian Liturgy, which is that of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople. As such, it is used in the Eastern Orthodox and the Greek Catholic Churches. Although the same term is sometimes applied in English to the Eucharistic service of Armenian Christians, both of the Armenian Apostolic Church and of the Armenian Catholic Church, they use in their own language a term meaning «holy offering» or «holy sacrifice». Other churches also treat divine liturgy simply as one of many names that can be used, but it is not their normal term. The Greek Catholic and Orthodox churches see the divine liturgy as transcending time and the world. All believers are seen as united in worship in the kingdom of God along with the departed saints and the angels of heaven. Everything in the liturgy is seen as symbolic, but not merely so, for it makes present the unseen reality. According to Eastern tradition and belief, the liturgy's roots go back to the adaptation of JBY early Christians of Jewish. The first part, termed the liturgy of the catechumens, includes, like a synagogue service reading of scriptures and, in some places, perhaps a sermon, homily. The second half, added later, is based on the Last Supper and the first Eucharistic celebrations by early Christians. Eastern Christians believe that the Eucharist is the central part of the service in which they participate, as they believe the bread and wine truly become the real body and blood of Christ, and that by partaking of it they jointly become the body of Christ that is, the Church. Each liturgy has its differences from others, but most are very similar to each other with adaptations based on tradition, purpose, culture and theology. <laughs> Byzantine Rite Topic. Three divine liturgies are in common use in the Byzantine Rite. The Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom 5th century, used on most days of the year and as a Vesperal Liturgy on the Annunciation. The Divine Liturgy of St. Basil the Great 4th century, used on the five Sundays of Great Lent, and on St. Basil's Feast Day January 1st. On the eves of the Nativity and Theophany, and on Holy Thursday and Holy Saturday, it is celebrated as a Vesperal Liturgy. In some traditions, St. Basil's Liturgy is also celebrated on the Exaltation of the Life-Giving Cross on September 14. In all, this liturgy is used ten times during the liturgical year. The Divine Liturgy of the Presanctified Gifts 6th century, is used during Great Lent on Wednesdays, Fridays, and a handful of other occasions, and also on the first three days of Holy Week. Nowadays it is always celebrated as a Vesperal Liturgy, the Liturgy of the Faithful has no anaphora Eucharistic prayer, the Holy Gifts having been consecrated and reserved presanctified at a previous Divine Liturgy. It is traditionally attributed to St. Gregory the Dialogist, although some scholars believe it originated with Patriarch Severus of Antioch. As well as these, there are two others that are used locally and rarely, the Liturgy of St. James and the Liturgy of St. Mark. The Hierarchical Liturgy as numbers in a diocese increased dramatically, the bishop who presides over the Eucharistic assembly appointed presbyters to act as celebrants in the local communities the parishes. Still, the church is understood in Eastern Orthodoxy in terms not of the presbyter, but the diocesan bishop. When the latter celebrates the liturgy personally, the service is more complex and festive. To demonstrate unity with the greater Orthodox community, the Hierarch commemorates the Hierarch he is subordinate to or, if he is head of an autocephalous church, he commemorates all his peers, whose names he reads from a diptych. Typical structure Note, Psalms are numbered according to the Greek Septuagint. For the Hebrew Masoretic numbering that is more familiar in the West, usually add one. See the main Psalms article for an exact correspondence table. The format of divine liturgy is fixed, although the specific readings and hymns vary with season and feast. 
The Divine Liturgy consists of three interrelated parts, when not in conjunction with Vespers. The liturgies of John Chrysostom and Basil the Great are structured thus. The Liturgy of Preparation, which includes the entry and vesting prayers of the priests and deacons and the prothesis. The Liturgy of the Catechumens, so called because traditionally this is the only part they may attend. The Liturgy of the Faithful, so called because in ancient times only baptized members in good standing were allowed to participate. In modern times, this restriction applies only to Holy Communion reception of the Sacrament of Holy Communion. A typical celebration of the Byzantine liturgy consists of Topic. Liturgy of Preparation Topic. This part of the liturgy is private, performed only by the priest and deacon. It symbolizes the hidden years of Christ's earthly life. Entrance and vesting prayers, the sacred servers priests and deacons enter the church, venerate the icons and put on their vestments. Liturgy of Preparation the priest and deacon prepare the bread and wine for the Eucharist see prosphora at the table of oblation prothesis. Kairos — a preliminary dialogue between the priest and the deacon. Topic. Liturgy of the Catechumens Topic. This is the public part of the liturgy, in which both catechumens and baptized faithful would be in the nave. Opening blessing by the priest. He raises the gospel book, making the sign of the cross with it over the altar and proclaiming, Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. To which the response is, Amen. Great litany, beginning with the priest proclaiming, In peace, let us pray to the Lord. To which the response is, Lord, have mercy. First antiphon Little litany Second antiphon only begotten Son. Little Litany. Third Antiphon. Small Entrance. Procession with the Gospel Book. Entrance Hymn. Troparia and Contachia. Hymns commemorating specific saints and scriptural events, as appropriate to the liturgical calendar and local custom. Trisagion, the thrice holy hymn, or on certain days, another hymn. Prokimenon. Epistle Reading. Alleluia Gospel reading Litany of fervent supplication. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind. Litany for the departed. This is not said on Sundays, great feasts or during the Paschal season. Litany of the catechumens, and dismissal of the catechumens. Topic. Liturgy of the faithful. Topic. In the early church, only baptized members who could receive Holy Communion were allowed to attend this portion of the liturgy, in common contemporary practice, with very few local exceptions e.g., Mount Athos, all may stay. However, in most places, catechumens are formally dismissed for further study. First Litany of the Faithful Second Litany of the Faithful Cherubicon chanted as spiritual representatives or icons of the angels Great Entrance Procession taking the chalice and discos paten from the table of oblation to the altar. Litany of fervent supplication. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. The kiss of peace. Symbol of faith, the Nicene Creed. Sursum corda. Let us lift up our hearts. Greek. Anio shomentas cardias. Anaphora, Eucharistic prayer. The Sanctus. Holy, holy, holy. The Eucharistic Canon, containing the Anamnesis Memorial of Christ's Incarnation, Death, and Resurrection, and the Words of Institution Epiclesis the calling down of the Holy Spirit upon the Holy Gifts bread and wine to change them into the Body and Blood of Christ Commemoration of Saints and Theotokion Hymn to the Theotokos It is truly meet Axion Eston on certain days replaced with various hymns in honor of the Mother of God Commemoration of Bishop and Civil Authorities Remember, O Lord. Litany of Supplication. Having called to remembrance all the saints. Lord's Prayer. Bowing of heads. Holy things are for the holy. Communion hymn. Holy Communion. We have seen the true light. 
Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord. Litany of Thanksgiving Prayer behind the Ambone Psalm chapter 33 Dismissal Almost all texts are chanted throughout the Divine Liturgy, not only hymns but litanies, prayers, creed confession and even readings from the Bible, depending on tradition. In ancient rubrics, and contemporary Greek practice, the sermon, Nicene Creed and the Lord's Prayer are spoken, read, rather than chanted. Slavic traditions chant or sing everything except the sermon. Topic. Gallery of parts of the Eastern Orthodox Liturgy Topic. Topic. Oriental Orthodox Churches Topic. Divine Liturgy is the normal word that, in their own languages, followers of the Byzantine Rite apply to their Eucharistic services but, while in English the same word as also the word Mass is at times used to speak of the corresponding services of the Oriental Orthodox Churches. The normal names used in those churches refers either to the aspect of offering, sacrifice, kurbana in the Syriac Orthodox Church, badarak in the Armenian Apostolic Church, prosphora in the Coptic Orthodox Church, or of sanctifying kedes in the Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church. The Oriental Orthodox Churches own a richness of different liturgies, which are named after the anaphora included. Topic. Coptic liturgy Topic. At present, the Coptic Orthodox Church and Coptic Catholic Church have three liturgies The Liturgy of St. Basil 4th century. The Liturgy of St. Mark the Apostle, this liturgy is also known as the Liturgy of St. Cyril The Liturgy of St. Gregory The Theologian the Liturgy of St. Basil is celebrated on most Sundays and contains the shortest anaphora. The Liturgy of St. Gregory is usually used during the feasts of the Church but not exclusively. In addition the clergy performing the liturgy can combine extracts of the liturgies of St. Cyril and St. Gregory to the more frequently used St. Basil at the discretion of the priest or bishop. The Syriac Orthodox Church, the Syriac Catholic Church, the Syriac Maronite Church of Antioch and the syro malankara Catholic Church of the West Syriac Rite which is developed from the Antiochene Rite use a version of the Divine Liturgy of St. James which differs substantially from its Byzantine Rite counterpart, most notably in being substantially shorter it can be completed in under two hours, whereas the historic form of the Byzantine Rite Liturgy prior to the revisions of St. Basil and St. John Chrysostom took more than four hours, and in that it can be used with more than 80 different anaphoras, the most commonly used are those of Mar Bar Salabi which is the shortest, and that of St. James, which resembles that of the Byzantine Rite Liturgy, and is mandated on certain occasions, such as major feasts, the consecration of churches, and the first liturgies offered by newly ordained priests. Due to the long isolation of the St. Thomas Christians the rite of the syro malankara Catholic Church shows some differences, so that this rite is called the Malankara Rite. The main liturgy used by the Coptic Church is known as Liturgy of St. Basil. The term Liturgies of St. Basil in a Coptic context means not only the sole anaphora with or without the related prayers, but also the general order of the Alexandrine Rite Liturgy. Anaphora <inaudible> 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 The Egyptian or Coptic anaphora of St. Basil, even if related and using the same Antiochene or West Syrian structure, represents a different group from the Byzantine, West Syrian and Armenian grouping of anaphoras of St. Basil. The Egyptian version does not derive directly from the latter and has its own peculiarities, its text is more brief, with less scriptural and elusive enhancements, and it lacks well-defined Trinitarian references, which are typical of other versions and reflect the theology of the First Council of Constantinople of 381. The structure of the Boharic Coptic version used today in the Coptic Church can be summarized as follow Anaphora The opening dialogue The preface, praising Father as Lord and everlasting King, as Creator of heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and as Father of Christ by whom all things were made. The pre-Sanctus, praising the Father on his throne of glory and worshipped by the angelic hosts, so introducing The Sanctus, conducted without the Benedictus the post-sanctus, recalling the whole history of salvation, from the original sin to the incarnation, passion, resurrection of Christ up to the last judgment. The institution narrative. 
The anamnesis, referring to the Passion, Resurrection and Second Coming of Christ The oblation, offering to the Father the Eucharistic gifts The epiclesis, asking the Holy Spirit to come and to sanctify and manifest the gifts as the Most Holy. The Holy Spirit is then asked to make the bread the body and the chalice the blood of Christ. The intercessions, praying for the participants to become one single body, for the Church, for the Pope of Alexandria and for all the ecclesiastic hierarchy, for the town and the harvest, for the floodings, for the living, for who have offered the Eucharistic gifts, for the saints, naming Mary, John the Baptist, St. Stephen, St. Mark and St. Basil. Then the diptychs are read, followed by the prayers for the dead. A prayer for the fruit of the communion and the final doxology, the 7th century Sahidic Coptic version found in 1960 shows an earlier and more sober form of the Boharic text. The manuscript, incomplete in its first part, begins with the post sanctus, and is followed by a terse institution narrative, by a pithy anamnesis which simply lists the themes and ends with the oblation. The next epiclesis consists only of the prayer to the Holy Spirit to come and manifest the gifts, without any explicit request to change the gifts in the body and blood of Christ. The intercessions are shorter and only Mary is named among the saints. <inaudible> <inaudible> Liturgy of Saint Basil the term Liturgy of Saint Basil may refer also to the whole Eucharistic liturgy which by the Coptic Church has the following structure Topic. Offertory Topic. Offertory or prothesis is the part of the liturgy in which the sacramental bread Corbin and wine Abarca are chosen and placed on the altar. All these rites are Middle Ages developments, it begins with the dressing of the priest with vestments and the preparation of the altar, along with prayers of worthiness for the celebrant. At this point is chanted the appropriate hour of the canonical hours, followed by the washing of the hands with its prayer of worthiness, and by the proclamation of the Nicene Creed. Then takes place the elaborate rite of the choosing of the Lamb, while the congregation sing forty-one times the Kyrie eleison, the priest checks the wine and chooses among the bread one loaf which will be consecrated, the Lamb. The Lamb is cleaned with a napkin and blessed with the priest's thumb wet of wine. Afterwards the priest takes the lamb in procession around the altar and the deacon follows with the wine and a candle. At the altar, the priest, with appropriate prayers, blesses the lamb and the wine, places the lamb in the paten and pours wine and a few drops of water in the chalice the chalice is placed in a wooden box named Ark on the altar. The last part of the offertory resembles an anaphora. After a dialogue, the priest blesses the congregation and proclaims a prayer of thanksgiving, giving thanks to God for his support to us, and asking him for a worthy participation to the liturgy. Then comes the prayer of covering, said inaudibly by the priest, which has the form of an epiclesis, asking God to show his face on the gifts, and to change them in order that the bread and wine may become the body and blood of Christ. This text might come from an ancient anaphora or simply be a later High Middle Ages creation. The paten and the ark with inside the chalice are here covered with a veil. Topic. Liturgy of the Catechumens Topic. In the Liturgy of the Catechumens the readings from the New Testament are proclaimed. This portion was in ancient times the beginning of the liturgy, and the only part which could be attended by the catechumens. This part is roughly equivalent to the Liturgy of the Word in the Western Rites. It begins with a penitential rite in which first the priest prays inaudibly to Christ for the forgiveness of sins the absolution to the Son and then all the participants kneel in front of the altar and the celebrant, or the bishop if present, recites a prayer of absolution the absolution to the ministers. The reading from the Pauline Epistles is preceded by the offering of incense at the four sides of the altar, at the iconostasis, at the Book of the Gospel and at the faithfuls in the nave, in the meantime the faithful sing a hymn to Mary and a hymn of intercession. The Pauline Epistle is followed by a reading from the Catholic Epistles, and by one from the Acts of the Apostles. Another offering of incense is conduced the praxis incense, similar to the Pauline incense except that only the first row of the faithful is incensed. A reading from the Coptic Synaxarium can follow. After these readings, the Trisagion is sung three times, each time with a different reference to the Incarnation, Passion, Resurrection, thus addressing the Trisagion to Christ only. After the Trisagion follows a litany, the recital of a psalm and the singing of the Alleluia, and finally the proclamation of the Gospel from the doors of the sanctuary. The sermon may follow. Topic. Liturgy of the Faithful. 
Topic. The liturgy of the faithful is the core of the liturgy, where are placed the proper Eucharistic rites. It begins with the prayer of the veil, in which the priest offers the liturgical sacrifice to God. The long litanies follows, where all pray for the peace, for the ecclesiastic hierarchy and for the congregation. The Nicene Creed is proclaimed, the priest washes his hands three times and sprinkles water on the congregation reciting the prayer of reconciliation which is a prayer of worthiness for all who attend the liturgy. Next is the kiss of peace during which the faithful sing the Aspasmos Adam Rejoice o Mary hymn. The anaphora is conducted. After the anaphora takes place the consignation, i.e. the moistening of the lamb with some drops of the consecrated wine, which is show to the worship of the faithful. The fraction of the consecrated lamb ensues, during which the priest says a prayer which varies according to the Coptic calendar. All of the congregation stands and prays with open hands the Lord's Prayer. To be prepared for partaking of the Eucharist, the faithful bow while the celebrant says in low voice the prayer of submission, then the priest and the participants offer each other a wish of peace and the priest inaudibly prays to the Father for the forgiveness of sins the absolution to the Father. The elevation is similar to that in the Byzantine rite, with the celebrant who raises the portion of the lamb engraved with a cross the ispatakon, crying, The holy things for the holy ones. The priest makes a second consignation and puts gently the ispakadon in the chalice the commixture, then he recites aloud a confession of faith. The partaking of the Eucharist follows, first the body of Christ given to the celebrants, to the deacons and to the faithful who approach the sanctuary without shoes and then the blood of Christ in the same order. Psalm chapter 150 is sung in the meantime. The distribution of the Eucharist ends with a blessing with the paten. The dismissal rites include the prayer of laying the hands and the final blessing. Topic. Armenian liturgy Topic. The Armenian Apostolic Church and the Armenian Catholic Church have at present a single liturgical structure, called the Armenian Rite with a single anaphora, the Athanasius anaphora for the liturgy, Holy Paderag or in Western Armenian, Holy Badarak, meaning, sacrifice. This is in distinction to the other liturgies of the Oriental Orthodox Churches Coptic, West Syrian, Ethiopic, which have retained multiple anaphorae. This means that the text of the Paterag can be contained in a single, unified liturgical book, the Pataraamatoik, Pataraamatuoits, Western Armenian Badarakamaduoits, meaning, the offering of sacrifice. This book contains all of the prayers for the Paterag assigned to the bishop if celebrating as a bishop, the celebrating priest, the deacons, and the people, the last typically led by a choir with accompaniment. Before the end of the 10th century there were also other liturgical forms, such as the anaphora of St. Basil, the anaphora of St. Gregory the Illuminator and other in use. The elements of the Armenian Eucharistic liturgy reflect the rich set of influences on Armenian culture. The roots of the liturgy lie in the West Syrian and Byzantine forms, with the influence of the Roman Catholic Mass, the latter having arrived likely during the period of the Fourth Crusade or shortly thereafter. Among the distinctive practices of the Armenian Paterag is the tradition that on the Sundays of the fast before Easter the Great Fast, the curtain which hangs down in front of the elevated altar area Armenian Zoran Koran is never opened, even for the reading of the Gospel. Certain movable parts of the liturgy are omitted, the parts of the liturgy sung by the choir are said or chanted simply without adornment, there is no general confession, and there is no distribution of communion to the faithful. This practice of fasting from the Eucharist in preparation for Easter may reflect an ancient custom of the Church in Jerusalem. A special prayer of repentance is sung by the clergy on the morning of Palm Sunday Armenian, Kagkazard Sagkazard, Western Armenian Jagazard, after which the curtain is opened for the first time since the last Sunday before the Great Fast. One element which almost certainly derives from the influence of Western liturgy is the reading of a last gospel at the conclusion of the Paterag. However, the celebration of a short memorial service for one or more departed persons Hogahangist Hogahangist, Western Armenian Hakehankist, meaning, rest of the spirit, is quite prevalent in parishes and replaces the reading of the last gospel. <laughs> East Syrian churches the Assyrian Church of the East, the Ancient Church of the East and their larger Catholic counterparts the Chaldean Catholic Church and the Syro-Malabar Catholic Church, which use the East Syriac rite that they all inherit from the Church of the East, employ one or more of three different Eucharistic anaphoras when celebrating Holy Kurbana. 
Anaphora of Adai and Mari or the hallowing of the apostles, i.e., of the apostles Saint Adai and Saint Mari. The hallowing of Theodore of Mopsuestia, attributed to Theodore of Mopsuestia. The hallowing of Nestorius, attributed to Nestorius. Topic. See also. Topic. Liturgy of the Eighth Book of the Apostolic Constitutions. Diataxis Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Greek Liturgies, English translation of the Principal Liturgy Charles Anthony, Swainson, ed. 1884 the Greek liturgies, chiefly from original authorities. With an appendix containing the Coptic Ordinary Canon of the Mass from two manuscripts in the British Museum, edited and translated by Dr. C. Bezold. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. At the Internet Archive. Brett, Thomas, ed. 1838 1720. A collection of the principal liturgies, used in the Christian Church in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, particularly the ancient, viz., the Clementine, as it stands in the book called the Apostolical Constitutions, the liturgies of St. James, St. Mark, St. Chrysostom, St. Basil, and C. Translated into English by several hands. With a dissertation upon them. London. At the Internet Archive, Eastern Orthodox Christian Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom in English The Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom in English The Divine Liturgy of St. Basil the Great in English The Divine Liturgy of the Presanctified in English The Divine Liturgy of St. James the Holy Apostle and Brother of the Lord in English Ancient, Early Liturgy The Lenten Liturgies in English The Divine Liturgies Music Project Byzantine Music in English for the Liturgies of St. John, St. Basil, St. James and the Presanctified the Divine Divine Liturgy of the Russian Orthodox Church in English, Church Slavonic, including music MIDI, MP3, photos of Divine Liturgy from Russia The Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom in Hellenistic New Testament Greek coin and Modern Demotic Greek The Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom as it practiced daily, in Koine Greek The Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom as it practiced at Sundays, in Koine Greek The Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom as it practiced with a deacon, in Koine Greek The Divine Liturgy of St. Basil the Great in Koine in Greek the Divine Liturgy of St. James Presanctified, in Koine Greek Textos Liturgicos Orthodoxos Spanish Translations of the Orthodox Liturgical Texts Serbian Patriarchate Oriental Orthodox Christian Divine Liturgy of the Syriac Orthodox Church Download Coptic, Arabic Holy Liturgies in MP3 format from st-takla.org Coptic Liturgy of St. Basil Full Text with Explanations and Commentary Coptic Liturgy of St. Mark Full Text also known as the Liturgy of St. Cyril Coptic Liturgy of St. Gregory Full Text with Footnotes Ethiopian Divine Liturgy Armenian Divine In Remembrance of the Lord Iraq 29 Badarak Armenian Divine Liturgy Armenian Badarak Commentary Analysis of the Armenian Divine Liturgy